I don't get it. I mean, I just really, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand the mentality. It makes no sense to me. I have patients periodically who will go to their doctor and their doctor will tell them that they need to be taking this drug and that drug and this drug and that drug. And before they know it, you know, they're on half a dozen to a dozen drugs. And the problem with that is every drug has a potential side effect. So, and the thing is with fibromyalgia, there's so many symptoms that if you try to put someone on a drug for every symptom, you know, you, you're, you know, you're on half a dozen to a dozen drugs pretty quickly, right? And that's typical of the patients that I see, whether I'm working with a patient in uh, United Kingdom, I'm working with a patient in Australia, I'm working with a patient in Canada, I'm working with a patient in Arkansas, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Their doctors have, over the years, have tried to medicate them to the point to where they cover up the symptoms. But by doing them, they put them on such strong medications, whether that's pain medication, sleep medication, Lyrica, Neurontin, Gabapitin, Gorillas, Flexeril. They put them on these medications and they make these patients into zombies. Now, I don't get it. This is what I don't get, is that when the patient goes back after I've brought them back to, to life at a zombiehood, okay, because uh, typically, like I said, they're on half a dozen to a dozen drugs when they're with me. Uh, and they, they work with me typically. They work with me in a one-on-one -on -one program. It's a six-month program. They work in a group program. It's an eight-week program. But either way, I mean, I get great results. Um, and I, if they're working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm able to get them on the right protocols based on testing that I do, which, which is a great advantage because it takes all the guesswork out of exactly what supplements they need to be taking to correct the underlying causes. And once that starts to happen, then I can slowly wean them off their medications. Now, I wouldn't do that until they're sleeping through the night, they feel less stressed, they have more mental energy and more uh, physical energy, you know, stamina. Um, and, and once I see that, and I've got them on the right supplements, I'm working with them on diet and these things, then and only then when I start working with them to help them wean off their medications. And invariably, <laughs> they'll go back to their doctor and he and he or she will go god you look great what are you doing you look so you know because a lot of times they lose weight if i'm fixing their underlying problems with their thyroid or their adrenals or they go on the anti-inflammatory diet my patients typically lose about half a pound a day on that safe very safe diet but they you know it's, it's dramatic i mean some patients lose 20 some patients 40 60 100 pounds whatever they need to lose to get to their ideal healthy weight for them everybody's Everybody's different, but um, they'll go back and their doctors tell them, oh, and, and then I have patients that don't need to lose weight, but they just look healthy for the first time in years. And then they're asking them about refills and do they, are they taking their medications or whatever? Not always, not always. So I shouldn't paint, paint everybody with the same brush because there's some doctors that celebrate this, but invariably there are some doctors who are incredulous that the patient came off these medications, is not taking their medications, they're gonna die without taking these medications. Why aren't you taking your medications? Uh, and then they start to share with him, they're working with a doctor in Birmingham, Alabama, over the phone, no less, and the doctor goes ballistic, goes crazy. You know, how could you trust somebody? You know, you're working with them by phone, they took you off all your medications, that's dangerous, I don't know anything about these supplements, these supplements are dangerous and not FDA regulated, and on and on and on. Now, my patients who have worked with me, they know enough now that they just fire that doctor, okay? They know if that doctor, if he or she's not celebrating how healthy this person has become, they just say, you know what, um, this, this is not a good relationship for me. It's not healthy for me. Um, I really appreciate everything you try to do for me, but that's not the approach that I'm seeking, and thank you, but um, goodbye. And then you find another doctor to work with. I mean, you need a primary care doctor because if you get a raging strep throat, you need to be on antibiotics. If you, you know, you know, heaven forbid you have an accident, you know, you need, you know, you need to be hospitalized or whatever, you need your primary care doctor there with you. But um, what I want to encourage you to do is, you know, right is right, truth is truth. 
and if you're making strides in getting healthier and you're doing things and you're taking nutritional supplements or you've changed your diet you're doing keto you're doing paleo you're doing gluten free whatever it is i don't know but you feel better and you know you feel better don't let some maybe well-meaning politely doctor tell you that that therapy or that diet or that doctor is not right for you and is dangerous don't let them tell you people tend to be down on what they're not up on and most medical doctors are not up on the cutting edge nutritional therapy and diets and things that are out there that actually create health drugs don't make you healthy a healthy diet makes you healthy a healthy lifestyle makes you healthy but drugs don't make you healthy. Now, I'm not telling you to stop your prescription drugs. Don't do that. Work with your doctor but uh, or work with me if that's something you want to do. But drugs don't make you healthy. You need to realize that. And, but they can be life-saving, and sometimes you have no choice. But my goal always when working with my patients is to get them off as many as they don't need. And with fibro, it's typically 90%. Uh, and then to get on the lowest dose of the, the few, and some, usually it's maybe one, not even one. A lot of times I get them off all their prescription medications. Uh, but get down to that one, whatever is to the lowest dose. And, and um, you know, you need to be celebrating that. And your doctor should be selling that, celebrating that with you. If they do not, you need another doctor. I would love to help you any way I can. You can go to my website, yourfibrodoctor.com. There's a wealth of free resources there for you. If you would like to seek me out, and work with me in a one-on-one -on -one program or a group program or maybe you just want to start the jumpstart supplement package uh, we can we can get you started on that and you can do a trial run and see if the, laying the foundation with those specially designed supplements is you know enough you, enough for you and maybe all you need uh, but anyway we can help you we want to do it so you know uh, check out your fibrodoctor.com look forward to perhaps meeting you in the near future uh, this is Dr. Roger Murphy, yourfibrodoctor.com, author of Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic Fatigue Syndrome.